uh, Galaxy S4 review. Uh, first thing, obviously, that we see on the device is a 5 inch uh, Super AMOLED uh, uh, Full HD 441 pixel per inch display. Uh, but uh, generally, so what you can see on the top is actually you see the proximity sensor, you see the light sensor, uh, you see the 2 megapixel camera, and you see the motion sensor uh, that is uh, used actually to enhance some of the user interaction with the device, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Um, at the back, uh, we have 13 megapixel camera with a flash, and then on the top we have the 3.5 jack for the audio connectivity, and we have a infrared port, so uh, which allows us actually to control the TV, yeah, set a box, and the other kind of the. Uh, How many microphones does this have? Uh, this one has a two. The, this device uh, it has uh, powered by the uh, quad core processor, 1.9 gigahertz. Also has the uh, quite uh, large battery, 2600 milliamps, and in the battery, as you can see in here, is actually uh, NFC uh, antenna is built in the battery. So we do support all of the NFC components and uh, uh, 16 gig of an onboard memory, and also 60 expandable up to the 64 gig through the uh, micro SD slot. Uh, same deal as before that we had in the last couple of products. We're going to have. Uh, uh, Dropbox account and uh, Dropbox and Samsung will actually uh, give it a 50 gig for two years. Um, two gig of RAM uh, from the hardware perspective, power on button on the side, and then you know volume buttons pretty much on the other side, and the power and actually charging port at the bottom. Um, from the software perspective, to be honest, don't know where to start with yeah. because the device is really fully loaded with all features. Uh, basically, uh, we figured out that Grouply is a great functionality for sharing, but at the same time, sometimes when we really need it in, let's say, park or beach or some other places, we don't have the Wi-Fi access. So we actually are going to be doing connectivity on the, going forward with Grouply. Grouply, we're going to be doing connectivity so to the Wi-Fi. So this is Wi-Fi connection. It's yes. Secure within. Um, how, how many users can you? Use? So it can be up to you know ten users. 10 so users. Uh, you can actually do this. Just enter the little password because it is a secure connection and is done through the Wi-Fi. So once I open this, uh, um, you know, uh, open the group, I can share music, pictures, share the documents. The documents can be any Microsoft documents. It can be you know PowerPoint presentation. It can be PDF, you know, Word or anything like that. It can will help me with this. Is to share the music, and I'll just select this one song just for the purpose of the. Uh, so let's so put the volume down a little bit. So this is the main device that's actually you know playing the music. From this main device I can control the volume along three devices or I can actually Separately. Yes. So, uh, and again, cool. If you have up to five devices, mm -hmm. you can have strong sound. So, uh, again, to put it down a little bit, uh, you can, um, same way as we did this, uh, if you keep yeah. the device. Uh, other functionality, you can mention the camera. Uh, last year we released the Galaxy uh, camera in a, in a global and Canadian market. Um, this is the time actually when we actually had the DI, uh, Digital Imaging Division, mm -hmm. coming together with the Mobile Division, help us out a lot actually to build a product that has enhanced camera features, right? So uh, one of the first things that we are able to do with the quad-core processor, obviously more processing power, we can actually turn both cameras at the same time and actually take leverage both cameras at the same time. Very easy to switch. So basically, you can just press there, immediately you will see this little uh, window here mm -hmm. that you can, you know, uh, reposition in any place. In addition to that, actually, you can create, uh, you can put the different kind of the frames around this. So, uh, so uh, it can also can make it bigger or smaller. So uh, I'll try to take a picture of Ken. Well, um, if you look at the camera modes, it's much easier to use than before. So you see this, you have this uh, rotating bar here that you can actually go through the different modes. Uh, starting from auto, night, you know, uh, sports show it, uh, panoramic, um, and then you have a race mode, which actually allows you that if there is a uh, moving object identified in the picture, to remove it. Mm -hmm. So if you're taking the picture of the still mo still uh, still picture of the two of the, let's say can and somebody's moving in the background, that project that object will be identified as moving object, and it will you will get the option to remove it.